Hi, my name is Dave Beswick, and I'm the creator of the Journeys program for high school students, college students, and adults in transition. You know, I often get asked this question, and it's a really good one. Can my 17-year-old really find his career direction at such a young age? The answer is, it depends. It depends on him first having a firm foundation of self-awareness. And what does this firm foundation of self-awareness look like? It means him first correctly identifying his God-given personality and talents, what he really enjoys doing, and what gives true meaning and purpose to his life. You go, whoa, tall order here, he's just a kid, big questions. You'd be amazed at how open students are and their ability to become self-aware. They don't have the um, resistance or the blocks to looking at these questions, which they're usually looking at for the first time. So once he has a firm foundation of self-awareness, he has a really good possibility of identifying the career direction that's right for him. You know, just like you wouldn't think of building your house without building, having a strong foundation first. You know, if he doesn't have a firm foundation to start with, then yes, it would be very difficult for him to find a career direction that fits him to a T. I'd like to just share with you a few examples. You know, I interviewed Larry's uh, mom and dad prior to his going through the Journeys program, and they told me that Larry was a very ethical person. You know, I thought that, well, he probably would make a good judge or a good lawyer, a policeman, a minister. You know, he really had high eth ethical standards. So they thought that, that these would be good careers for him, possibly. Um, they didn't rule out accounting or him joining the military. But after taking the personality profile and the talents assessment and discovering what he enjoyed doing most, it became clear that he was actually more of a helper and and he had a strong dose of right and wrong thrown in so when I asked him what his favorite experience was of helping someone he said without skipping a beat when helping the children on our mission trips and playing with kids in the aftercare program at his school so I dropped into the aftercare program one day, you know, I observed how happy he was when playing with, with the kids and interacting with them. He was really great with them. I mean, he just was a natural. So, uh, you know, he laughed easily with them and he was also able to rein them in when they got too rambunctious. And, and he told me that he specifically liked working with children up to and including age 10. Now, how he knew this, I don't know, I guess through all his experiences. And Larry's parents confirmed that he was always great with smaller kids. And, you know, he did a great job teaching um, them in Sunday school as well. Um, so Larry, his parents, and I felt good initially about his decision to major in elementary education. You know, Larry's school that he attended was K through 12. So after doing an informational interview with a first and second grade teacher, Larry decided that a little bit older kids felt better to him. So he set up a job shadowing experience in the third and fifth grade classrooms for one week each. And he came away feeling good about that range between grade three and grade five. Um, you know, it took me three meetings with Catherine. This is a second example. It took me three meetings with Catherine to figure out her personality, her dominant personality type. You know, we both agree that she was an extrovert, but we couldn't really tell what uh, flavor of extrovertedness that she was. But once she discovered her dominant type, which was the most extroverted person on the planet, really, like the Robin Williams or the Joan Rivers and those types, um, we, we began to discover and felt relieved. You know, she, she felt very relieved that she finally landed on her, on her dominant type. And um, which is quite common when when we go through the personality profiles and people land on the type that's right for them. What I've learned over time is never to dismiss anything that the students say because what they reveal could be very significant. 
an enthusiastic response, a raised eyebrow, um, or the body just relaxing when talking about a particular career path can be strong indicators of a student's heart's desire work. So, you know, when going over Catherine's enjoyment assessment, what she really enjoyed doing, um, she said that rock climbing was her all-time favorite thing to do. And she said, well, her parents said, what are you going to do with rock climbing? You know what I mean? Like, make a living climbing rocks? So, but see, you can't dismiss anything that they say. Could rock climbing be a clue as to what her future work might be? I mean, can you actually make a living scaling mountains? She is now majoring in outdoor recreation at a college near her home and is learning all she can while hoping to eventually work in a national park. You know, next summer, for instance, she um, has already signed up for an internship at a national park. She's very excited about it, looking forward to teaching students uh, rock climbing, to learning more about how to river raft correctly so that she can also have that skill to offer uh, at a future time when she hopes to be hired at a national park. Um, she loves going on camping expeditions and going on night walks and leading students through daytime insect uh, expeditions and learning about the different plants and all that. And she loves to write, so she figures she gets back to the lodge or her place and she just starts writing away. And she likes to take pictures as well, so she's kind of wants to be like John Muir that, that, that kind of did it all. So she was really, she couldn't be happier in the direction that she's headed in. So yes, your high school student or college student can decide on a career direction that's right for him, provided they have a firm base of self-awareness to start with. Once he knows his God-given personality, his talents, and clarifies what he really enjoys doing, his values and his purpose for being here, he really has a good base from which to make a well-considered decision about the career direction, the major, the college, um, or career school that right for them. So as a parent, a grandparent, or a guidance counselor, I strongly urge you to be proactive in helping your students become self-aware, as self-aware as possible, so that they can find a career direction that's a really good fit for their next big step in life. Before you go in the comment section below, I'd really like to know if you think it's possible for your student to be able to find his or her career path while in high school or in the early years of college. So if the content here has been helpful, as always, leave a like and subscribe. It's very important. This is good stuff. You're not going to get it anywhere else. To support this channel and the spreading of the Journeys program to as many individuals as possible in Christian schools and churches, please go to the Patreon link below and support us and tell others about the Journeys program. So as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.